Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to be doing a chit chat get ready with me. I just got a bunch of new makeup in and I want to give it all a go. I also just received this new Mecca palette. It looks really, really pretty. So this is the palette here. The mirror is fucking ginormous on. I'm trying not to blind you guys. But yeah, I really want to play around with some of these shades that look super, super pretty. Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in light medium. So, and yes, I have a beard. I haven't shaved. We're just going to ignore it. Thank you so much. Now, I have a pimple here and underneath my lip right now. Don't know why. Don't know what's going on. I'm drinking two liters of water a day. I'm doing a blog post about that. So that should be up by the time you guys see this video as well. I take a Stelazi L216 brush, which is like this fluffy blender brush. I'm gonna take some MAC NC20 Studio Fix powder. This Mecca eyeshadow palette does not have any mattes in it. They are all shimmers. Okay, so it's marketed as an eyeshadow palette, but in the PR email that I received, it also said that you can use it like as a highlighter. So we'll just see how this goes. So I'm gonna try and keep this as affordable as possible. So I'm gonna dip into the Astralis Neutralize Eyeshadow Palette. This is a really, really, really beautiful palette. I'm gonna dip into this shade called Hazelnut. And I'm just gonna blend this right through my crease. So guys, I did my cousin's makeup the other day. It was so fun. Like, Olivia, I doubt you're watching this, but if you are, shout out to you. I actually, like, really kind of missed doing other people's makeup. Like, there was just something about it at the end that just made me feel so good. And I was like, fuck, like, it's been so long since I've freelanced, since I've done other people's makeup. Like, if you guys want me to do more client-based tutorials, let me know, and I will definitely get around to doing that. I did, like, a rose gold cut crease glitter smoky eye, and if you guys want to see that look, then let me know in the comments, and I will film that for you guys. I'm going to take a Stelazi L211 brush, which is kind of like a MAC 217. It's a little bit shorter, and I actually really, really prefer this brush over that brush any day. I'm going to dip into this kind of purple eggplant shade here and I'm just gonna pat that over the outer third I'm kind of going a little more neutral just so that way whatever shadow we put on top because there are a plethora of colors in here it will pop that little bit more against like the more neutral tones on our eyes I'm now gonna take some Urban Decay Primer Potion in this is the original one I guess pop this with the applicator I'm gonna pop this over my Lip, like where we haven't put any shadow and using my finger I'm just going to pat it in usually I would use like the MAC 24 hour extend eye base for this part but if I'm honest I've been liking this primer potion a lot better and I don't know why maybe this one here this looks gorgeous okay so oh wow that is so Super pigmented. Oh wow, that is like straight up pink. I think I might do this one. Then maybe blend the pink in together like in this outer part. Okay, let's try that. Okay. I'm having to layer it quite a bit. Let me try with my finger on my other eye. Oh wow, okay. Yep, use your finger. And then I'm gonna take like my finger and just go into that purple. I kind of want it to look like a sunset. I'm just gonna keep cutting over the edges until it's nice and blended. This kind of reminds me of the Fenty Duo. Do you know what I'm talking about? Is it like Peach Sangria or something like that? It's like Sunset sun Sangria, I don't know. You guys know which one I'm talking about though. I think I wanna just kind of warm up this crease part a little more. So I'm gonna dip into this more fudgy chocolate brown shade. Okay, so for lashes today, I'm going to be going in with the Charabella um, Serendipity Lashes. This is what they look like. This is actually my girlfriend Tanya's brand. So Tanya, if you're watching, congrats girl. I feel like the longer I'm wearing this pink shade, it's disappearing into my eyeballs. I might have to use it wet. I'm going to dip back in with a brush. I'm going to dip back into that pink shade. And then I'm going to spray it with some primer water. You can use like any setting spray. Okay, the brush isn't even fucking wet. Hold on. The only thing about doing this technique is that you may seal the um, the pan of eyeshadow. So if it seals, that just means that you need to scrape off the top layer. I still feel like it's a very subtle shade. I almost want it to be like a bright pop. Do you guys know what I mean? Like, hmm. If I'm being honest, I don't know if I'll consider this palette from Mecca an eyeshadow palette. I think if they wrote it as 
a pigment palette or a highlighter palette that could be used on the eyes, it would make a lot more sense because these eyeshadows aren't that pigmented. Like they're showing up, as you can see, I made them work. But I had to wet my brush, use my fingers, use a sticky eyeshadow base. Like, if I hadn't used the Urban Decay Primer Potion and I had just gone onto my dry eyes with the shades, they wouldn't have gripped at all. So, now that we have lashes on, let's go ahead and move on to base. So, I'm going to start by kind of hydrating my skin a little bit more using the Smashbox Primer Water. I have no fucking idea if this really works, but whatever, let's just chuck it on. And then I am going to go in with the Smashbox Photo Finish Super Light Smooth and Blur Primer. I don't know if this is new, but this is the first time I've ever like seen it or heard of it because they sent it to me. Pretty much focusing it in my T-zone. If I'm looking over here, it's because that's where my monitor is so I can see what I'm doing. <laughs> this was actually sent to me a couple of days ago. I haven't used it yet, but I did use it on my cousin and it looked fucking amazing on her. This is the L'Oreal Glow Mon Amour. It's so basically highlighting drops. It remind me a lot of the iconic London ones, even though I've never used them, they just look very similar. That's a lot, isn't it? Fuck. Oh wow. Oh fuck, okay, this sets pretty quickly. And I'm gonna look like Tin Man for like the next 20 seconds, but that's okay. So for foundation, I'm actually gonna go in with a super, super cheap and affordable one. I wanted to keep this tutorial kind of more affordable. This is the Mud Long Lasting Foundation, and this is the shade Cream Beige and Soft Beige. I have no fucking idea which one's gonna suit me. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with the shade Cream Beige because as you can see, it blends into my into my jaw, but still a little light for me, so I don't want to go any lighter, obviously. And I really like that this is such a cheap foundation and it has a pump on it. Like, the pump is kind of gorgeous, I'm not going to lie. And I kind of just go over my beard. If you guys are ever doing a guy's makeup, or if you are a guy doing makeup, and you're scared about like if you should just go over your beard or avoid it completely, I just go straight through it. Because if you're doing full coverage especially, you don't want to have like full coverage foundation up until like here and then it's like no foundation like that will look so odd damn this foundation is fucking looking pretty good i'm kind of surprised at how well that went on i'm gonna go in with the maybelline master conceal i haven't used this concealer in like a hot ass minute you don't need too much of this concealer because it is quite full coverage which i really enjoy because i have been if you guys haven't noticed, I have been pairing back the makeup recently, like the foundation, the concealer, the powder. I'm only applying as I need it. I don't know if that makes any sense, whatever. Just taking some RCMA No Color Powder, and I'm just gonna set under my eye. I really, really, really wanted to use the NYX um, contour stick because I've had so many people ask me about it. Where the fuck did I put it? I really wanted to use it because since I've been using the Benefit one, I've had so many people ask me if the NYX one is the same, if it's similar. I'm gonna try and find it for my next video, I promise. If not, I'll just fucking go out and buy it, honestly. So, in replacement of that, I am gonna use the Marc Jacobs Omega Bronzer. Now, this is not affordable at fucking all, but I've never used it before, so I actually only used it on my cousin for the first time, and it looked really, really nice on her, so... That is a cheek though, hold on, I need to turn that down. For blush today, I'm gonna grab the L'Oreal Life's a Peach. I used this on my cousin yesterday as well and it looked beautiful on her. And this literally smells like peach and I can't stand the scent of peach, but this smells incredible. So I'm just gonna take that with the same brush. and it has like a slight luminosity to it as well. So when you kind of look to the side, you can't really tell that you're wearing blush unless you go over the top like I do. I did want to go in with this one here. This is by Paintbox and this is the Mineral Skin Illuminator and there is no shade. It's just called the Mineral Skin Illuminator, I guess. So I'm going to grab that on a MAC 224 brush. And this reminds me so much of the MAC packaging, like, Justine, I see you, girl. <laughs> and I'm just gonna grab some and just pop that. Oh, that is beautiful. God, this is going on so nicely. And I have powdered my cheeks as well. So for it to show up this much, that means it's a good fucking highlighter, honestly. I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows off camera and then I will be right back. I'm just holding off it tonight. Oh, that's nice. Alright guys, so I have my brows on. I've been filling them in a little bit lighter and a little bit warmer. I've been using Benefit Brow in number three for the front of my brows and I've been loving it because I feel like it just adds 
warmth to my face. I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm just loving it. I'm just gonna dip into like this shade and this shade. Oh, uh, mainly this shade here. I don't want it to be too dark. And I'm gonna pop this just on the outer third of my eye. And then I'm gonna dust off that brush. Then I'm gonna try and dip into those other two shades we put on my lid. Oh, there we go. And then dust it off once again and dip into that orange. And then for the inner corner, I'm gonna go in, I wanna use like a really bright shade. I wanna go in with this more white shade, which is this one here from the Mecca palette. Oh yes. Oh my god, the pigmentation! Holy fuck! So, I wonder why those shades are really, really pigmented, but the other ones aren't. Like, what's up with that, Mecca? MAC Extended Play Lash. This is my favorite, favorite mascara for the lower lashes. You know what? I'm gonna line my waterline with some of the L'Oreal Kajal Liner in white. Just to open up my eyes a little bit more. Oh fuck, I just woke fucking half of it off. Oh my god. All right, well, there's no saving that, hun. Let's just, let's just keep going. L'Oreal, if you're watching. <laughs> I'm going to line my lips using a little bit of MAC Boldly Bare Lip Pencil. I'm gonna use the Gerard Cosmetics uh, Gloss in Buttercream. This is like one of my favorite pink glosses of all time. And it has like a light in it. I'm not that fond of the light, but it's a bomb gloss. I'm gonna grab a little bit of this Bare Minerals Gen Nude Blush. I'm gonna just grab it with like a random Morphe brush. Kinda just focusing it towards the back of the cheek actually, not necessarily like on the apples of my cheeks. So guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video, this tutorial. Everything will be linked down below for you guys if you guys wanna check out any of the products that I used today. If you guys did like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell, you might as well, like while you're at it, like I was like just saying it. And while you're here, go and click on the next video. Come on, go. Oh wait, I'm waiting here. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> oh fuck, I need help.